pickaxe in the yes. bottom lane. Yeah, he, he or, is, sorry, top lane. He is going ham on many occasions. The last time I remember watching was up and he's gonna get some helix prox one right clicks to do the job black can't dive any further he's gonna go down actually sticks up stays alive falls to yoda some fan for the first blood how does that happen wow but nope just some really nice movement that that hook shot up in the top room just really started Dyer's to get the ball rolling and look at they're putting pressure on this tier two tower up top now uh oh pilot eye i think he's maybe dead whirling axes are gonna come in and Gets the X off into Era. Earth Spike whips. Uh, Black's about to run in. They get the ulti off, and Black just falls. Oh. Quakefa <laughs> dies as well. Ice Frog with the RG from these Lucid Beam procs. And boy, are they doing work. Bubba's going to walk right in. 4-1. to one. And as, as hard as Team Tigger won that first game, and that's as hard as they're losing the second in the process. Going for Drum on Troll, which is an interesting choice. Phase Bottle Drum. <clears throat> And there's like one standard build for Troll Warlord, but he's in the middle lane, so I guess he decides to go for something else. And what they have now, and they will catch the hook shot on Quick, but he's gonna mana shield, he can stone gaze as well, now he's out of mana. Uh, Jonas, some fan, actually can't get the kill, but still will chase him down, flares up at six, they'll continue to chase Quick, but he'll bottle up. Whirling Axe's TP's gonna come through, dash, don't even need it, they get the kill regardless, and... Just one of those games for Team Taker, it feels like. It's just a really nice draft from Nip, man. I, I imagine there's the blink being shown by Black. Not a lot of damage coming out, though, and Era, he's trying to wiggle his way around. He does have an Aegis anyway. There's the ultimate coming out. The Lucent Beams are hitting nicely. Pink Panda trying to get away, and he will get away for the time being. Uh, I see actually Limp, he's gonna ulti and go on the Bristle back. This actually should be game. I don't know that, yeah. Oh, I thought that was actually gonna be a GG, but this yeah, is Tango yeah. Shared. Tango Shared. <laughs> uh, there's nothing they can do. They just showed their Blink Axe call. Medusa doesn't have an ulti. She's a absolutely no farm. This game is over, man. How does how does it go from Team Tigger having a fantastic first game to this poor of a game number two? I don't know what happened, but... Um... Draft, I, like Nip's draft is close to flawless. I think in this game, like I really, really like their draft. It just they have everything going for them. It becomes a thing. Pilot Eye will find Luna, but he's actually got to find uh, a coffin instead. Is just really what he's finding. Loose and Beam will finish him off and make a kill going for Era. So at this point, they'll group up. They will go. These two, these two tornadoes too. It's so annoying. Black, he, he's maybe gonna try to find some kind of opening, but he can't. Can't the glaive. Too close to those glaives is gonna stop his blink. And the tornado as well. And the positioning from NIP is some gold, so she could go for. If she wants to be really safe, she can go for BKB. She could still get called, but uh, BKB might be an okay option against Pilot Eye. Black Mike had jumped on. Drum charge is used. Limp runs in, gets hexed up. Hookshot goes. Cogs onto two. Call goes in only onto the Chen Crips. Pilot Eye gets blown up. Bobo, the Death Ward coming through. Now Black going to fall as well. Three GG. dead, and that is it. GG. 17 minutes in. And today has been a day of early GGs, with the exception of that first game between Tinker and NIP. NIP even up the series with some of the best positioning. A great draft and beautiful play. NIP take game number two and they move up to four and two here in Dota Pit season number three. This was just an actual stomp, like a complete stomp. Everything went.